Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I'm super related to be scrutinizing another Lindy Hop video for you today. But first, make sure you subscribe and mash that notification button so you never miss a Swing Dance reaction video ever again. I'm telling you what, folks, I am super excited to be looking at this video today. It looks like we are going to RTSF 2020 Hepcats Night Friday. It looks like it's a Lindy Hop fast feed. Jack and Jill's finals. This means it's going to be pretty fast. And I love me some fast Lindy Hop. Do not let your hearts be troubled, folks. I will be telling you the absolute truth about who I feel are the winners of this competition. So if you are someone who gets triggered by the truth, this is not the place for you. All right. I got to tell you, I don't know how long these people are going to be dancing. This video is six minutes long. Just looking at who's who, what's happening. Okay, so everybody can clearly dance and it is extremely challenging to stand out when the tempo is fast. Everybody's kind of forced to do some Charleston a little bit. You know, once you get tired of doing those fast swing outs. So I'm going to be looking for, obviously, who's some of the more unique couples. And uh, that's going to kind of help me understand what's going on in terms of the creativity. <clears throat> so I wonder if this is like, the, like maybe the first round or something, if there's multiple rounds. So we'll see what happens. Okay. I think that was a warm up. I know that trumpet, here we go. I'm telling you right now, this couple uh, on my right, she's got like a brown, no, she's got green on, like a, like a forest green, and he's got a like a polo shirt that's kind of tan. They've got a lot of energy. Let's see how long they keep that up. Hitting the ground, look. Third one's watch. <laughs> yes. Oh boy. Okay, so it's elimination. That's what it looks like. Uh, and so far, the couple that I have in first place is still on the floor. So let's see what happens with them. <laughs> Some people are just walking like, Woo! We thought we wanted to do this competition. All right, so I've got my I've got my preliminary winner so far. And this is the couple on the far left in the video. She's got green on, red hair, and he's in that, that tan um, polo shirt. They have not dropped the energy. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> okay, so um, that was my first place couple. It doesn't look like they made it to the next round, apparently. Um, I don't know how this competition works. 
But that's... I was looking for high energy if this is a fast competition. I want to see who can do those rounds without giving in. So my second place winner, um, who I was looking at, it was actually this couple here in the front. She's got red hair and a green little flower, and he's got this uh, gray vest on, red tie. See what happens. Let's see what happens. They're getting ready. Let's see what happens. Yes! <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> you're, you're dancing to that The Hell's a Poppin' song. Come on, that's great. It looks like the audience is uh, exhausted. Yeah, I love that move. Nice cartwheel. I tried that once in a competition with my partner at the time, uh, Ani Trudeau, and like drop kicked her in the face. We still won first place. You can't really tell in the video. Man, that was pretty exciting. Let's talk about it. I got to tell you up front, the couple that I liked the best didn't make it for whatever reason. Um, <coughs> I don't know how the other people are judging. I don't care about anybody else's opinion. This is my house and I'm judging this competition. Just looking at what I normally look at when I'm judging competition. And if I were judging like a fast Lenny Hop competition, I'm first going to go to the stamina. Because it's hard to dance fast for a long time and make it look good. It's one thing to be able to get out there for a little bit and do a couple swing outs. But it's a whole other thing to do it for like two or three sets in a row. So the couples for me, well, the couple for me that won was the couple that got eliminated. She had like all green on. He had the, the polo. I not only liked what they were doing in terms of keeping their energy level high, but they were also trying some risky things. I think the leader was kind of setting the tone um, to just kind of try some different things and some more campy movements throughout that competition. And I liked them. I liked them the best. Um, the second, the couple that I liked, um, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, he was like number four, three, two. Yeah, he was my favorite leader and his original partner with the green on. She had like a green dress. And I think they may have like switched partners because it looks like they're not with the same partner. Um, but he was my favorite leader. And I would say by far, um, mainly because he kept the energy level up. And it didn't matter if you're a professional or not. The lungs are hard to keep in shape. And when you are out there and you're doing fast Lindy Hop like that, it just tells me that you've conditioned your body um, for at least for the last two days because you can go for a whole week of dancing hardcore Lindy Hop and go off one or two days and it really makes a dramatic impact on how you're able to dance fast. And dancing fast for me, guys, is one of my favorite things to do. I just, I came from a hip hop background, so we, we exerted so much more energy in our bodies just to make what we were doing look good that I was kind of conditioned when I came into Lindy Hop just to, to move fast. Because the, the way we dis, disperse the energy, it's not the same, so you can kind of save your energy a little bit more with this technique. But uh, it was one of my favorite things to do. Yeah, like for example, yeah, I, I don't know why. Uh, they, he didn't pro progress any further. But 432 is my favorite lead by far. He's going out on the ground, doing things, getting up and doing it in rhythm, in time. 
That's hard to do. That is hard to do. So who do you guys think uh, is the winner of this competition? Just looking at it my first time, that's my couple. My second couple, I would say, was the gentleman. He had like an all gray on, uh, slicked back hair with a tie. What I liked about him is I liked his control. He didn't just move as fast as the other guy in terms of like his own body movement. Of course, he kept up with the beat the majority of the time. There were some moments where you know they were doing swing outs and you could tell that they were kind of getting fatigued and he couldn't stay on beat with his partner. But I would say he was my second favorite lead. Um, and my second favorite follower, uh, she had the red hair and the green uh, bow in her hair. She was my second favorite follower um, this to, tonight. She was crushing it. Ooh, I love her boots too. Love the boots. Yeah, she was she was killing it. I'm telling you, it's it's not hard as a follower moving this fast if the leader isn't clear or if the leader isn't comfortable. Like if they're squeezing your hand and they're just moving you around in very jerky movements, it can be really trying as a follower to just kind of make it work. Um, but what I saw, I liked. I liked it. Let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section. It was quite interesting. I haven't done a competition like this in a long time and I don't know if I can hang with it right now. Probably could if you gave me like a week of preparation. Um, I could come out here and, and, you know, get pretty crazy with it. But uh, let me know what you guys thought and who you think is the winner of this competition, what you liked. I think, again, dancing fast like this takes some training. It takes some effort. It takes some technique. And if you guys are not swing dancing, you need to check out some of my free courses below because I give you kind of a simple approach to that technique so that you can learn how to sw swing dance to slower tempos, to mid tempos, to fast tempos. We even got some uh, swing dancing playlists that are organized for you guys so you can kind of practice on your level. I'm telling you, when I first started swing dancing, it was so much fun for me just being able to hear this music and knowing that I could travel around the world and learn um, from really good dancers and uh, just get the experience that I needed, social dancing. The problem I had is there was no streamlined approach. It was, so, it was such a plethora of diversity in terms of instructors that I was just kind of scratching my head after every event. Now, I went to like 30 events my first year, so I was really frustrated that first year. So I, I, I put a lot of hard work into figuring out how to demystify and to process all of the information that I learned. And so I did that. I spent about 10,000 hours of practice and hard work, social dancing, to figure out what are the most intrinsic, basic things that are... Um, necessary for Lindy Hop. Some things are more preferential, more about style, and there's only 25% of Lindy Hop that is a really sub uh, objective part of it. And those are the things that I figured out for me and for my students. So if you are looking for that, just a really streamlined process to be able to learn how the mechanics of it work so you can add your own personality on top, I encourage you to check out my Fundamentals membership. It will save you an immense amount of time. Um, so with that said, guys, um, let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section. Boy, I'm just tired looking at it. I'm just tired looking at it. It's amazing. Fast Lindy House is one of my favorite things. Let me know what you think about it. If I don't see you guys in the comment section, hopefully I get a chance to see you in one of my classes online. Take care.